The Anai begins with the protagonist of this story, Naoto Hakioji, entering the school library. However, upon entering, he encounters a group of lively young girls, leading him to believe that the place used to be peaceful. The laughter of the students prevents him from concentrating on his tasks. When the young man no longer hears their voices, he turns to look at them, but they stare at him, causing Naoto to feel embarrassed. He tries to ignore them and leave, but one of the girls approaches him looking for a book and making him even more nervous. In the process, she accidentally turns over his things. As the girl tries to help him, she notices his manga drawings and along with her friends, starts mocking him. Suddenly, they all leave, leaving the boy embarrassed, except for one girl who stays by his side. She confirms that Naoto is older than her and begins to read his manga enthusiastically. She realizes that Naoto is the protagonist of the story and expresses pity for both him and the manga protagonist. To explain her reason, she suggests recreating a scene from the manga together. When they do, the protagonist becomes nervous, unable to follow his own script. The girl mocks him, stating that a v**k like him couldn't do such things. She ridicules him to the point of making him cry and not satisfied with this. She dries his tears with her handkerchief before leaving, leaving the handkerchief as a reminder of her teasing. The young man is left embarrassed on the floor as a younger girl made him cry. During the night, he couldn't sleep, haunted by the mocking voice of the girl. The next day at school, Naoto encounters the girl again, who discovers that he belongs to the art club. Before entering, he returns the handkerchief, but she insists that it was a gift for being teased. In the art room, as Naoto draws, the girl follows him. He asks her to leave, but she sits in front of him asking to be drawn. When she attempts to make it more by her uniform, Naoto gets nervous and agrees to draw her normally. Unable to look her in the eyes, the girl promises him a reward if he completes the drawing. She asks him to close his eyes, but instead of a kiss, she tricks him and mocks him again, claiming his drawing isn't finished on her Despite embarrassment, Naoto asks her to leave, but she persists in teasing him until he cries again. She dries his tears, stating that next time he must draw her well, promising an unforgettable reward. Later, as he leaves school, the girl follows him and jokingly asks to be his partner despite just meeting. Surprised, Naoto is momentarily speechless. The girl laughs, pushes him into the water, and continues laughing. She questions why he doesn't get angry with her, but Naoto explains that he's used to being teased since childhood, knowing that staying silent makes them eventually leave. However, the girl believes he isn't angry because he's in love with her. Naoto admits that it bothers him but isn't unbearable. The girl introduces herself as Nagatoro, and despite her previous behavior, she declares they will get along well from now on. The next school day, the protagonist is peacefully drawing the art room when Nagatoro arrives to disrupt the tranquility and, of course, bother Naoto. Later, during lunch, the young man buys a somewhat manga, eager to get home and read it. Suddenly, Nagatoro shows up, making the young man nervous. He hides the manga behind him, trying to distract her, but she notices from his gaze that he was doing something Despite his attempts to deny it, she grabs his hand, revealing what he was trying to hide. As they begin to read the manga, she mocks him, but he justifies himself by saying he only buys it for the vampire story, dismissing the scenes. Nagatoro starts reading the manga and acknowledges it's a good story, but doesn't miss the chance to tease the boy, claiming there's a character just like him, one of the first bitten by the vampire. The protagonist argues that she can't prove it because he's not a vampire. Suddenly, the lights go out and heavy rain can be seen through the window. Nagatoro takes advantage of the opportunity to pretend to bite him with her sharp fangs, scaring the protagonist who wishes he could escape. However, Nagatoro jumps on him, and as she attempts to bite him, she recoils from his bad breath. When she tries to escape, the student tries to catch him again, but in the fall, Nagatoro t him, stating that her dream of having a moment with a girl came true. With this incident, the protagonist can't stop thinking about what happened throughout the night. The next day, Nagatoro reappears to bother the protagonist while he tries to draw. This time, she proposes a game where they have to find each other's Nada refuses, but upon hearing that the prize is a voucher that the winner can use for anything, and thinking it might make her leave him alone, he reluctantly agrees. The young man is confident that she won't find them, but he's wrong. Not only does she locate them, but she also forces him to admit defeat by not stopping the The protagonist, feeling concedes that she won, but Nagatoro gives him a chance to try as well, thinking he wouldn't dare. However, he accepts and begins to approach her slowly. The girl pretends not to care, but in reality, she is very embarrassed. Fortunately, her phone rings, saving her from the situation, and she runs off, claiming she has plans with a friend. Later, the protagonist goes to a restaurant far from school to draw his manga, seeking a quiet place. However, he hears the door open and sees Nagatoro arriving with her friend and two other boys seemingly on a date. Naoto tries to eavesdrop, 
The young people discuss their hobbies and later her friend and one of the boys leave them alone. Nagatoro is left with a red-haired boy who tells her he composes songs and plays one for her. The protagonist expects her and mock him as she does to him, but she coldly tells the student that his music doesn't make her feel anything. Disheartened, a student goes to the bathroom, giving the other boy a chance. He tries to engage in an inappropriate conversation, but the girl warns him not to speak so freely with someone she just met. Her cold gaze makes the student leave the place dejected. When her friend returns from placing their order, Nagatoro asks her not to set her up on dates anymore as she's not interested in boring guys. After witnessing how Nagatoro treated the other boys, the protagonist is surprised that he's the only one she bothers. At that moment, Nagatoro appears behind him to continue teasing him as usual. After a few days, Naono was once again peacefully finishing his art drawing when suddenly Nagatoro appears in front of him, asking him to be her model. However, the young man refuses as he doesn't like drawing people. Nagatoro, undeterred, begins to making the protagonist turn away in nervousness. To his surprise, she was wearing a her uniform, revealing that it was just a trick to tease and annoy him. After school, it starts to rain and both run to find shelter. Trying to dry off a bit, Nagatoro realizes that her clothes reveal her using it to taunt the protagonist, telling him not to turn around. Thinking she's trying to trick him again, he turns, expecting to see a However, when he realizes it's not the case, both feel embarrassed about the situation. Nagatoro still teases him for being a Suddenly, it gets cold and Nagatoro sneezes. Naoto suggests they leave since the rain won't stop, but she proposes going to her house since it's closer. Upon entering her house, Naoto imagines that Nagatoro's parents will be just like her. But it turns out they're not home. She asks Naoto to change into dry clothes to avoid getting sick. While waiting for the rain to stop, the protagonist appears very nervous. Nagatoro suggests doing something fun, like striking poses as in professional wrestling. While he is lost in thought, Nagatoro shows him the fighting video game she wants them to play, accusing him of having thoughts. Before they play, she warns him that she's very good and will win. However, to her dismay, Noda wins the first round. When he turns to look at her, he sees her angry expression, but he doesn't mind, thinking he deserves it for all the teasing. In the following rounds, Nagatoro resorts to tricks to distract him, ultimately winning. Nevertheless, they end up having a pleasant afternoon together. The next day, the protagonist looks for a place in the cafeteria to eat alone, but he notices it's crowded with students. At that moment, he hears the voice of the girl calling him to sit with her and her friends. As he sits there, he feels true terror, thinking that they might be like Nagatoro. One of the friends named Yoshi asks if they are a couple, and Nagatoro says yes. However, her friends start laughing, suggesting that he might be just her When Yoshi tries to touch him, Nagatoro stops her, feeling a bit jealous. This leaves Yoshi speechless. But Maki notices her reaction and continues teasing him, calling him an insect, as no man would let himself be treated that way. This angers Nagatoro, thinking it was too much, but the young man starts to believe that she is protecting him. At that moment, he stands up and shouts in front of everyone that he is not Nagatoro's boyfriend. Left without words, he sits back down and the girls continue mocking him. Nagatoro gets upset because Naoto never defends himself when teased, so she decides to give him a couple of lessons so that in the future, he can stand up to those who bother him. The young man agrees, seeking revenge for the time she has teased him. Nagatoro starts mocking him to provoke a response, but at one point, she crosses the line of almost making him cry. Nagatoro feels bad for a moment, but doesn't waste time and uses it as an opportunity for the young man to react. However, when he defends himself, he accidentally hits the girl in the leaving them both embarrassed as it was not the place he should have The girl pretends not to care, asking him to aim for her shoulder next time. After a few days, the protagonist is in the art room finally eating in peace when he hears the door noise, thinking it might be Nagatoro. Upon turning around, he notices Maki and Yoshi. They would bother him. After sitting in front of him, they ask if he has ever touched Nervous, the young man makes it obvious that he hasn't, so the girls offer theirs for him to try. Naoto tries to escape, but Yoshi catches him and forces him to touch Maki's While they mock him, the protagonist feels terrible as he was coerced, but the girl shows him that he didn't actually touch her. It was a trap with rolls. They continue laughing at him, but not for long as Nagatoro arrives with a look, causing the girls to flee. Feeling jealous because he touched her friend's Naoto nervously explains that he only touched some rolls. Nagatoro laughs at his disappointment, but then offers him to touch hers. Naoto refuses, and Nagatoro shows him some premium rolls she got, placing them on her along with her friends. She proposes a game. If he can guess where the premium one is, he can keep it. He accepts, but when he touches it, it slips out and he accidentally touches the She gets angry and starts hitting him. The next day, after much insistence, Naoto agrees to draw the girl since he thinks it's a waste to keep drawing fruits when he has her. 
However, he begins to think that she won't show up as it's getting late. He watches the baseball club, but his peace is short-lived when the girl enters with a sofa since she feels more comfortable there. Nagatoro notices he's looking at the baseball player and laughs at him, suggesting he's envious because it's nice to receive compliments. She tells him he won't receive compliments if he doesn't give them first, and they start practicing. Nervous, he only compliments the girl's hair and health, but he moves her by mentioning her kick in the performance when they first met. She reciprocates with mocking compliments. To change the subject, the protagonist asks her to pose for the drawing, and she does various poses. He'd request a normal one to concentrate, but after several hours, Naoto hasn't managed to draw anything. Nagatoro decides to sit, and in that moment of calmness, he starts drawing. Once he finishes, without realizing it, the girl is behind him and sees the drawing. She gives him his reward, asking him to close his eyes again. Despite suspecting a trap, he feels something on his lips, and upon opening his eyes, realizes he's kissing a plush toy. Nagatoro mocks him again. After the events, Nagatoro has a dream where she teases the protagonist as usual, but he ignores her attempts to get his attention. Absurdly, when her friends enter the room, they invite Naoto to have fun with them, and he agrees without hesitation. This surprises and scares Nagatoro, who wakes up and realizes that Naoto covered her with a blanket to keep her warm. She thanks him with a compliment. Later, Nagatoro watches the protagonist and tells him he's too sensitive. Despite his attempts to deny it, she playfully attacks him with tickling. The young man mentions that it's normal for people to be ticklish, but Nagatoro refuses to admit she is and challenges him to prove it. She removes her uniform, revealing a and asks him to tickle her. However, when he starts doing it, Nagatoro gets nervous as she didn't expect him to actually go through with it. She interrupts, saying she'll show him a video of sheep shearing. Staring at the protagonist, she notices his hair resembles a sheep's, offering to cut it with clippers. However, he declines, as she suggests using scissors. Just as she is about to begin, she receives a call from her friends. It turns out to be a trap, as the girls were waiting for her to leave to tease Naoto. Upon discovering Amatoro was about to cut his hair, they offer to do it themselves, and when he refuses, they force him, intending to leave him bald. Nagatoro returns to hear noises from the room, finding out her friends set a trap. They manage to escape her wrath, and finally the protagonist gets a haircut thanks to his new friend Nagatoro. Back at home, the unbearable heat prompts the girl to take Naoto to a shaved ice shop. Upon arrival, they find an enormous line due to the place being featured on television. Despite Naoto suggesting getting ice cream from the convenience store, Nagatoro decides to stay. After a while, Nagatoro starts feeling dizzy from the heat. The protagonist notices and takes her to the shade, buying her a hydrating drink. She immediately revives but feels embarrassed for not getting the shaved ice she wanted. To express her gratitude, she buys him the mini market ice creams he initially suggested. Later, they realize that the holidays begin the next day. Nagatoro informs Naoto that she'll be busy helping the swim team. The young man thinks he'll finally get a break from Magatoro, but she asks for his number to stay in touch. From that moment on, she starts sending him messages, calling him a When she leaves for home, the protagonist is about to drink from his bottle, but hesitates, remembering that Nagatoro had done the same. Just then, his phone rings and he sees another message from Nagatoro, once again accusing him of being a When he looks up, he realizes she is still there. After several days, the protagonist has a dream where a girl tells him that he is in Chichibu Nagatoro, and is chosen as the savior of that fantasy world for being extremely She asks for his help as a dark lord is causing trouble. After handing him a staff, she pushes him, causing him to fall from the clouds. Suddenly, the magical staff starts glowing, preventing him from crashing. Once on the ground, the young man is chased by a huge lizard, but a girl named Nekotoro, resembling his friend, saves him. She tells him they must go on an adventure to find the dark lord. After defeating various enemies, they encounter a dragon that is difficult to defeat, but with Meoto's help, they manage to defeat it. In gratitude, Nekotoro gives him a kiss on the cheek. At that moment, the dragon transforms into Maki, and Yoshi also appears, stating that the four of them will defeat the Dark Lord together. When they reach the castle, the three girls turn into dark figures and start mocking him. Suddenly, he wakes up from the dream while drawing and realizes he's in the restaurant. Nagatoro and her friends arrive, so he approaches to ask what he was doing. He replies that he was just doing his homework and leaves, forgetting his notebook with drawings. However, Nagatoro finds it and goes looking for Naoto to tease him. She discovers drawings of her with animal features, but he vehemently denies that they are his, and she decides to keep them. During the summer vacation, the protagonist stays at home, watching TV and eating ice cream, enjoying a peaceful break. Suddenly, he receives a call from Nagatoro, who suggests going to the beach since he must be bored. On his way to meet her, he realizes her friends are also coming, and they begin to tease him as usual. When they arrive, Naoto can't help but look at Maki's 
leading to teasing from Nagatoro and Yoshi for being a To change the subject, he suggests buying drinks, making Nagatoro jealous, and she decides for sure, asking him to buy her a drink. While the girls have fun in the sea, Naoto decides to stay in the shade to draw. Nagatoro goes to fetch him to join the fun, but he refuses, not wanting to get sunburned. However, she notices he's wearing and forces him to his clothes, offering to apply sunscreen carefully to prevent sunburn. The young man refuses, stating that couples do such things, and they are not a couple. This angers Nagatoro and she pushes him into the sand to apply sunscreen with her feet. Despite her request not to join, her friends also join in teasing him. After being covered in sunscreen, he is taken into the water by the girl and spends the day with the girls. When he's at home, the protagonist realizes he enjoyed leaving his house and spending time with the girls. Days later, Naoto realizes that the summer festival has started and thinks that Nagatoro will probably call them to force him to go. However, the day passes and that doesn't happen, so he wonders if for once he should invite her. Still, he regrets it as she might mock him. In the evening, he ends up going to the festival with the excuse of just taking a stroll, but unfortunately, he runs into Maki and Yoshi, who, after following him, end up capturing him, putting a dog on him. Meanwhile, Nagatoro is at the swimming club, planning to go to the festival with Naoto after finishing. However, she receives a message from her friend with a photo of them with Naoto. This infuriates Nagatoro and within seconds, she arrives at the festival trying to appear calm. She asks Maki to return him, but Maki says she must earn him back. She proposes forming two teams, and the team with more prizes gets to keep Naoto. During one of the games, Nagatoro comments to the protagonist that it's strange to see him in such places and suggests that if he ever wants to go somewhere with someone in the future, he should propose. When the games end, it appears that Maki and Yoshi won, but Nagatoro manages to friend with the plush toy she likes, ultimately winning and exchanging it for Naoto. After that, the girls leave, leaving Naoto and Nagatoro alone. They take a stroll around the festival and notice that the fireworks have started. Nagatoro pushes Naoto to go and see them, but once again, a long line awaits them. However, Naoto knows a shortcut and takes Nagatoro's hand to lead her through a dark path. Nagatoro thinks he has ulterior motives, but they reach a secret spot where they can watch the fireworks. Nagatoro starts teasing the protagonist again, suggesting he brought her there with other intentions. He gets tired of it and asks her to specify what kind of intentions. For a moment, Nagatoro gets nervous as she's not an expert, stammering that he could hug or kiss her. At that moment, a rocket lights up the area, revealing that they are not alone as two couples are kissing there. They quickly run away from the spot. On the way home, Naoto suggests going to the festival together next year, and Nagatoro agrees but starts teasing him to keep the atmosphere unchanged. Summer vacation is over, and after the first day of school, the protagonist heads home. On the way, he hears his friend's voice and realizes that she is gathered in the park with her friends. Immediately, he hides from them and notices a new friend named Sakura with them. Two boys arrive, and one asks Nagatoro out, but she sternly declines. The boy, annoyed by their persistence, decides to intervene but changes his mind. Luckily, he makes a noise, revealing himself. Maki asks him to approach, questioning why he was there. The boys start mocking him, but he gathers courage and asks Nagatoro to leave with him. Everyone is surprised by his words, and Nagatoro, without hesitation, and with a big smile, gets up to go with him. She's not the only one as the other girls also follow, leaving the boys sitting alone. On the way, the girls thank the protagonist for getting them out of that situation. Sakura realizes he's the one they saw in the library with manga and starts teasing him. However, she mentions that despite that, he gives off a different aura. The next day, Nagatoro mocks the protagonist for being too skinny and suggests he should exercise to gain strength and muscles within three months. However, he refuses, thinking that doing push-ups or sit-ups requires too much effort, and he would do them only if he could stay still. So Nagatoro comes up with the idea of making him get on all fours while she sits on him, asking him to maintain the position to get exercise without moving. Naoto can endure it for long due to lack of strength, and at that moment, two students pass by and see them in an awkward situation, causing embarrassment for both. Later, Naoto recalls spending the entire summer playing video games, and Nagatoro asks if he has studied for the upcoming exams. She suspects he spent all his time playing games and predicts he will fail and repeat the year. He responds that maybe it wouldn't be so bad as he could spend another year in the art club. To continue teasing him, Nagatoro says if he repeats the year, he'll be her classmate, and she would spend the whole day bothering him. However, Naoto suggests that at least he wouldn't be bored. Surprised by his response, Nagatoro blushes as she didn't expect that answer. Later, Naoto starts studying while Nagatoro and her friends are around him, but their presence is only to tease him. Maki finds it amusing that he might repeat the year twice as in that situation, they could use him as a for their errands. 
Sakura arrives, telling them that everyone except Nagatora will probably fail the exams, and the girls ask Naoto for help in their studies. In the end, Naoto passes his exams, and Nagatora thinks he did well to avoid being in the same class as her. While Nagatora is on her way to class, she passes by the art room and hears a conversation along with strange noises from her friends and Naoto. The more she listens, the more she can misinterpret. Unable to endure it any longer, she angrily opens the door. But it turns out her friends were just trying to remove a splinter from Naoto, and Nagatoro quickly does it herself to make them stop. On the way home, she reproaches the protagonist for being kind to Sakura and helping her with some chairs, insisting that he should also be kind to her. She asks him to carry her backpack, but he refuses. Nagatoro proposes a game of rock, paper, scissors, and the loser has to carry the other's backpack. Naoto accidentally wins and Nagatoro carries his backpack angrily. When they play again, Naoto lets Nagatoro win to make her happy. In the final round, Nagatoro wins again, but this time she tells him he doesn't have to carry her backpack. While Naevono is distracted, Nagatoro jumps on his back, and as she starts to fall, he lifts her to catch her, accidentally f***ing her. Nagatoro gets off and runs away embarrassed, but Naoto thinks she left because she was mad at him. At night, while Naoto is doing his homework, he receives a call from Nagatoro, who tells him she's taking a bath. Naoto becomes very nervous, dropping all his things. Nagatoro starts teasing him, thinking he's imagining how she looks. Unbeknownst to her, she accidentally activates a video call, and Naoto sees her taking a b Stammering, he informs her that the camera is on. Realizing this, Nagatoro screams in embarrassment. Naoto apologizes, assuring her he didn't see anything, but Nagatoro, embarrassed, says she doesn't care, though it's evident that she does. In the morning, Naoto is in the art room, but as usual, there's no peace because Nagatoro is behind him mimicking boxing moves inspired by the manga he showed her earlier. She then uses the protagonist as a punching bag, but startles and trips, falling on him. Quickly distancing herself, she tells him that grabbing is allowed in boxing. Nagatoro recounts the incident to her friends, claiming he's a for grabbing her. Despite her ominous gaze, they decide to use him for a fight, prompting Nagatoro to advise him to flee while she keeps them entertained. The next day, Naoto goes to the art room seeking tranquility, but the girls are already there using his space. Naoto questions why they're in his room, and Maki explains that a noisy group invaded their usual hangout in the cafeteria. They sent Sakura to seduce the group to make them disperse, so they could reclaim their spot. Maki playfully calls Naoto a herbivore for not displaying desire, and Nagatoro teases him, suggesting a bet to prove otherwise. They search for evidence to debunk the herbivore claim, and Naoto helps Nagatoro find an a book, winning the bet. The following day, Nagatoro arrives at the art room with a new earring catching Naoto's attention. She claims to have pierced her ear using a tool she has with her, and then suggests f***ing Naoto's ear. Naoto, resigned to the impending pain, prepares for the but it turns out to be a ruse and Sakura arrives, crying, seeking Naoto's help. She asks him to pretend to be her boyfriend to get rid of the While Nagatoro protests, Sakura insists and Naoto reluctantly agrees, leaving Nagatoro surprised. During the weekend, Naoto has a fake date with Sakura. Nervous about being on a date for the first time, he doesn't notice that their friends are secretly spying on them. Maki observes Nagatoro's jealous expression and comments on the fox date turning real, which infuriates Nagatoro. When they reach their date location, Nagatoro arrives with who apologizes to Sakura and runs off. Sakura suggests ending the date, but Maki and Yoshi scold her for ruining their video. At the end of the day, as Naono and Nagatoro walk home, she sarcastically apologizes for ruining his date. But he reassures her that maybe it wasn't his time for a real first date. After a few days, the school organizes a marathon and the second-year students, including Naoto, prepare for it. Naoto struggles with running normally and from a distance, the four girls observe him from one of the classrooms. On his way home, Naoto encounters Nagatoro, who expresses embarrassment about his running style. She decides to train him to overcome his loser personality. The next day, the training begins and Nagatoro shows up in somewhat sportswear, making Naoto nervous. While running, Naoto can't keep up, but seeing Nagatoro's running style motivates him to try and stay ahead. Nagatoro teases him, calling him a worm to motivate him further. Eventually, Naoto completes the 5 kilometers run. During the muscle stretching, Naoto struggles due to his lack of flexibility. Nagatoro, making poses, asks him to do the same, but Yoshi interrupts them, thinking they are doing a fusion pose, easing the tension. During class, Naoto faces a dilemma as he needs a model for his drawing, unaware that Nagatoro is listening. She offers to be his model, but Naoto declines. Annoyed, Nagatoro starts hitting him, but when he explains that he wants to draw a boy and struggles to draw her looking into her eyes, she falls silent. She shows him a cat-like drawing she made of herself and teases him as a 
To get rid of her, Naoto says he'll accept if she gets the same clothes as in the drawing, leaving Nagatoro unsure of what to do. Later, Nagatoro surprises Naoto by appearing dressed as a cat, and without words, he expresses approval. However, their friends witness the embarrassing scene at the door. While Naoto draws Nagatoro, the girls discuss the activities of their respective clubs. Naoto, uncertain about the art club's plans, receives some misguided suggestions from the girls. As footsteps approach, Naoto asks them to hide. The art club president arrives, mentioning rumors about the club becoming a hangout. She notices the portraits of Nagatoro and decides to expel Naoto from the club. Nagatoro emerges from hiding, confronting the president and defending Naoto's dedication to the club. The president, unconvinced, proposes a challenge to separate presentations at the festival, and if Nagatoro gets more votes, Naoto won't be expelled. Nagatoro accepts the challenge, though Naoto seems skeptical. After the events, everyone is in the art room. While the protagonist is working on his drawings, the girls make fun of the club president, but Naoto defends her. Nagatoro dislikes this, and the other girls think they might have been a couple in the past. However, Naoto explains that he defended the president because she was right. Everyone is at fault. He mentions how challenging it is to compete against her since she achieved 6th place among 50 activities last year and won various awards in different contests. Meki can't comprehend her popularity since they're just drawings. Naoto then reveals his best work, a painting of her without leading to Nagatoro questioning him about hiding such a painting. She starts hitting him until he confesses his true thoughts about the artwork. Nervously, he claims it's a work of art. Nagatoro offers to pose for him. But Maki warns her that it wouldn't be beneficial, citing her lack of eyes. Naoto defends Nagatoro, stating that each person has their qualities. This makes Nagatoro happy, and she asks her friends to apologize. Later, they agree that Naoto should draw Nagatoro in cosplay. Despite Naoto's preference for simple drawings, Nagatoro insists that this will make him win. The next day, Naoto struggles to draw Nagatoro in different outfits, unable to concentrate. His friends warn him that he'll lose, but Naoto asks them to leave, wanting to stay alone to draw. He believes that losing will harm Nagatoro, despite her reassurances that she doesn't care. His outburst angers Nagatoro, leading to a jealous scene, and she storms out. Another day passes, and Naoto heads to the art room, finding it divided. He starts painting his usual drawings. The club president arrives wearing only a criticizing his painting as boring practice drawings. She emphasizes that the most crucial aspect of a piece is love, surprising Naoto. Nagatoro arrives, sees the president in a and assumes she became the new model. She runs off despite Naoto's attempts to explain. The president suggests that Naoto chases after her, as that too is art. When Naoto catches up, he asks Nagatoro to be his model, expressing a desire to paint the everyday Nagatoro because it's charming. They end up falling into the pool and on their way home, Nagatoro questions why he wants to draw her like that, claiming she's not interesting. Naoto unintentionally reveals that he wants to capture something that reflects love, like how cute she is. They both blush and play it off with teasing banter. After several days, the protagonist completes various portraits of Nagatoro, and her friends believe they look great, even suggesting it appears he was drawing his girlfriend. The girls wonder what the club president is doing and noticing her absence, they decide to sneak a peek at her artworks. Naoto, not wanting to be discouraged by their paintings, hears noises from the girls and joins them as Nagatoro upon seeing one of the drawings. The girls are stunned by what they saw, and they inform Naoto that the president's work surpasses the previous years, urging him to come up with a plan to surpass her. Despite Naoto's plea for them not to do anything strange, the three girls with an eerie demeanor assure him that they will help. Later, preparations for the festival begin, and during the art club's interview, the president confidently discusses the message behind her paintings. Naoto becomes nervous and says little, failing to convince anyone. Suddenly, the Torah cats, with Maki dressing up Nagatora as a kitten alongside Yoshi and Sakura, arrive to promote the protagonist's exhibition. As the festival kicks off, many people enter the president's exhibition, but Naoto also attracts a lot of visitors, thinking they are evenly matched. However, thanks to Torah cats' popularity, Nagatora was asked to mock a student, making Naoto jealous. Two girls leaving his exhibition approach him, impressed with his drawing skills, and ask him to teach them. Nagatora overhears this and gets upset. Maki suggests they all go out to eat, leaving the others to handle everything. Nagatora tries to hide her irritation and teases Naoto, claiming he has finally caught the attention of the girls. However, Naoto credits everything to her, as she was his model. Nagatoro, trying not to show her happiness, mocks him. Upon returning to the art room, they find a commotion in the president's exhibition. The student council forbids the president from displaying her painting, deeming it inappropriate for the school. Naoto tries to help her, revealing that he realized he wanted to draw Nagatora thanks to her influence. 
Nagatoro also defends the president, expressing her belief that the painting is beautiful despite not knowing about art. The council allows the president to exhibit her work. But after a survey and a report, they thank the boys for their assistance. The president decides not to expel Naoto, and the girls tell him they have won, so he must accept a punishment. They dress the president in a bunny costume and make her sell merchandise at their stall. After the festival ends, Nagatoro visits the art room dressed as a bunny and makes Naoto nervous. However, she reveals it's just a joke, admires his paintings, and acknowledges the love reflected in them. Both Naoto and Nagatoro get flustered, but the bell rings, announcing the festival concert, and they join the others to have fun. After a few days, the protagonist is reading a new manga he bought, where the girl in the story reminds him a lot of Nagatoro as she the young man in the manga. At that moment, Nagatoro appears, showing off her new shoes. However, she senses he's hiding something, and upon seeing the manga, she reveals that she also reads it because she identifies with the protagonist who mistreats the boy. She mentions a scene where the boy has to lick the protagonist's shoe, and right then, Naoto accidentally spills a drop of water on Nagatoro's shoe. Naoto bends down, but only to clean her shoe despite her initial fear that he would follow the manga scenario. On his way home, Naoto encounters Nagatoro and contemplates initiating the conversation for once. However, he hesitates, thinking she'll only tease him, and hides instead. Nagatoro notices and assumes he was f***ing her, so Naoto apologizes, explaining that he didn't know how to greet her. She offers to help him learn to greet properly, but her advice involves mostly physical gestures, with the exception of one. A surprise hug from behind. Naoto wonders what would happen if he greeted her that way, regretting immediately, but he stumbles and falls behind her. Naoto quickly apologizes, but Nagatoro hits him. Then her friends arrive and greet Nagatoro in a conventional manner. Later, Maki asks if they'll gather to celebrate the success of the festival, and they both agree. While the protagonist is painting, Nagatoro starts feeling cold, so she puts on her own s**t. Naoto remarks that he thought women wearing usually don't get cold, and she replies that female fashion requires courage, explaining she always carries Naoto thinks it's a shame she wears them, and she overhears, implying he's obsessed with her She challenges him to put the things on her to prove otherwise. Naoto starts putting the thing on slowly, making Nagatoro increasingly nervous. When he reaches the top, she stops him, saying she'll finish it herself. Later, they all go to a restaurant to celebrate winning the bet. As Naoto enjoys his meal, the girls ask him to pass them plates, and he starts to feel like they brought him along as a servant. However, Nagatoro serves him a plate and mentions it's all for him as a reward for his hard work at the festival. The girls suggest various food combinations, but Nagatoro gets jealous and makes a joke combination herself, which the others find less amusing. Naoto tries it, and ends up enjoying it. The next day, the club president notices that Naoto lacks motivation, so she gives him tickets to the zoo and offers two for him to invite Nagatoro, believing he should at least draw something, since he spends so much time in the club. Nagatoro arrives just in time to hear part of the conversation and misinterprets a word, thinking the young man will invite her with different intentions. She enters the club pretending not to have heard anything, sitting and waiting for Naoto to invite her. The protagonist struggles to initiate the conversation and finally asks if she has ever drawn. She replies that she isn't very good at drawing, and he proposes to teach her. Eventually, he invites her to the zoo with the intention of creating sketches. On the day of the zoo visit, Naoto hands Nagatoro a sketchbook, and she doesn't understand why. He explains they'll be making sketches, and she is surprised to realize she misunderstood the word. Nagatoro seems excited during the trip, but Naoto remains focused on his sketches, which irritates her. He apologizes and suggests they can just enjoy a casual stroll if she prefers. However, Nagatoro insists they both draw what she wants him to teach her while holding hands. As they begin to draw, Nagatoro struggles because the animal won't stay still. She asks Naoto to show her how, and he complies, his voice trembling with nervousness. After spending hours sketching at the zoo, they take a break to have a drink and review their drawings. Despite Nagatoro claiming she's bad at drawing, Naoto praises her, and she gradually improves. Nagatoro goes to the restroom, and during her absence, a couple approaches Naoto. The boy claims to be Nagatoro's friend and ridicules her drawings. Naoto defends her, and Nagatoro returns to intimidate the couple, making them leave. Naoto thanks her, feeling embarrassed for not being brave enough, but she reassures him, saying he did well. Lastly, Naoto suggests they create a sketch of her favorite animal, and Nagatoro chooses a sloth. After completing the sketches, Naoto reveals his excellent drawing of the sloth, while Nagatoro draws a portrait of him. He initially believes it was done well out of love, but retracts, thinking it's impossible. Nagatoro teases him, realizing he observed her for a long time and implying he has feelings for her. The next day, Nagatoro wakes up from a nap in the club while the protagonist is drawing. 
she receives a call from her friends deciding to spend the day with them. However, Nebuna realizes he forgot his phone and goes to return it. Descending to the first year classrooms, he realizes he doesn't know her class or name, just her last name. Failing to find her, he decides to leave. Nagatoro's friends show up, forcing him to hide in the classroom closet. Later, Nagatoro joins her friends, discussing boys. When asked about her ideal type, Nagatoro mentions someone fun. Suddenly, they hear a noise from the closet and Nagatoro discovers Nayato hiding there, embarrassed. He returns her phone and she realizes he wasn't eavesdropping maliciously. She helps him escape, but outside the classroom, Nagatoro questions if he overheard their conversation. He denies it but runs away immediately. That night, Naoto goes for a run preparing for the upcoming marathon. While thinking about not disappointing Nagatoro, he injures himself. The next day is the marathon and despite the pain, Naoto goes at his own pace, ending up last. Nagatoro and her friends want to challenge him, but he refuses. They mention the story of the tortoise and the hare, but the club president, dressed as a bunny, interrupts, suggesting a competition between them. They form a line, pushing Naoto, but they separate, leaving him and Nagatoro alone. He feels ankle pain, and Nagatoro insists on supporting him, even carrying him on her back. The others catch up, forming a human horse, but the teacher disqualifies them for the unconventional technique. The president wins. After a few days, Naoto notices Nagatoro stopped coming to the club, thinking she discovered him hiding in her class. He sends her a message, but when he leaves class, he meets her friends and greets them first. Nervously asking Maki about Nagatoro, she informs him she's been absent due to a cold. He hands over some assignments as an excuse to see her. Visiting Nagatoro's house, he decides to enter when no one responds. Fortunately, Nagatoro's sister greets him. To call the police until he explains he came to visit Nagatoro, realizing he's her sister's friend from school. After what happened, Nagatoro's sister, named Misaki, invites him in. She mentions having heard about him and asks if he's interested in her sister. The young man becomes somewhat nervous as he doesn't know how to respond. When he answers, Nagatoro wakes up, surprised to see him and panicking because she looks unkempt and he arrives without notice. Misaki then prepares a dessert for her sister with a flan brought by the young man, enticing Nagatoro. However, it turns out to be Misaki's plan to create an opportunity for them to talk. The protagonist notices Misaki has the same personality as her sister. When Nagatoro realizes her sister's intentions, she takes Naoto to chat in her room. Alone in the room, Naoto apologizes for visiting Nagatoro without notice. She thanks him for caring about her, but the kindness doesn't last long as she starts teasing him. She asks him to open his mouth for her to feed him, and Naoto agrees since no one else is around. However, Misaki interrupts them just in time, telling Naoto they'll continue the pending conversation another day since he's interested in her sister, leaving Nagatoro speechless. Feeling uncomfortable due to Misaki's interference, Naoto wants to leave, but Nagatoro insists they play video games again since she has been practicing. He accepts the challenge, admitting she has improved, but he still loses. Nagatoro begins questioning him about what he needs to discuss with her sister, making Naoto nervous. She proposes a bet. If he wins, she'll share a secret about herself. Naoto agrees and Nagatoro tries to distract him by asking about potentially things. However, he surprises her by asking for her full name, making her nervous. Naoto wins the game, and when Nagatoro is about to reveal her secret, he stops her, preferring to find out on his own not through a bet. Unexpectedly, Misaki appears, calling her sister by her name and ruining the moment they shared. At the end of the day, Naoto returns home, and Nagatoro warns him that starting the next day, she'll be back at school and won't leave him alone. On his way home, the young man is content knowing Nagatoro's name. The next day, Nagatoro meets the protagonist on the way to school. The young man wonders how to greet her now that he knows her name, but thinking it would be awkward, he opts to call her by her last name. However, both feel uncomfortable, leading Nagatoro to grab the sleeve of his sweater. Naoto's heart races and Nagatoro teases him. Trying to deny being nervous, Naoto tries to evade her, but instead of accelerating his heart, tires him out. He contemplates letting her tease him in return, but they end up holding hands. Unfortunately, their friends arrive and Nagatoro's attempts at excuses fail as none of them believe her. A few days later, Naoto wakes up with a cold. Despite his mother wanting to cancel her work meeting to stay with him, he insists she doesn't worry, and he ends up alone at home. At school, Nagatoro notices Naoto's absence and messages him to find out why. Learning he's sick, she feels guilty, thinking it's her fault. After a few hours, Naoto wakes up to the doorbell, finding Nagatoro at the window. He initially hesitates to let her in, not wanting to infect her, but she claims to be immune to his viruses. Inside, she suggests he lies down, inspects his room for magazines, and playfully mocks him, making him blush. As Naoto's condition worsens, Nagatoro takes care of him with damp cloths to lower his fever. In his feverish state, he dreams of a future 
with Nagatoro as his wife, thanking her casually and calling her by her name. Nagatoro believing he's pretending to kiss him if he doesn't respond. However, she is interrupted by Naoto's mother arriving home. The next day, Naoto wakes up fully recovered. At breakfast, his mother inquires about the cute girl who kept him company, and he casually replies that she's just a friend from the first year. On the way to school, Naoto is nervous, unsure if calling Nagatoro by her name the previous night was real. Nagatoro arrives, confirming that he's feeling better and teasing him. In frustration, Naoto stops her, leading to a compromising position just as their friends arrive, attempting to explain the situation. Christmas is approaching and Nagatoro asks her sister for advice on a good gift. Her sister suspects it's for someone special and suggests a consumable gift to avoid evidence. However, upon realizing it's for someone important, she recommends something the person can use a lot. At school, Naoto sees Nagatoro, who teases him about spending Christmas alone. Soon, their friends arrive and take them to a gathering where they discuss Christmas plans. There are two groups, those with a boyfriend and those without. While the girls argue, Naoto notices Nagatoro has a gift. Trying to pretend he didn't see it, Nagatoro eyes Naoto's gift. But Maki asks if Nagatoro will be with a group without a partner. She agrees, and when they ask Naoto, he tries to avoid the question by mentioning going to the art room. However, Nagatoro accompanies him to escape the situation. In the art room, they attempt to exchange gifts, but the club president interrupts them. Nagatoro pulls Meado away, and they hide in the infirmary to avoid a strict teacher. There, they plan to exchange gifts, but overhear Sakura and her boyfriend in an awkward situation, prompting them to flee again. After roaming the school, they reach the rooftop, thinking they'll have privacy. Unfortunately, it's filled with couples. Nevertheless, Naoto decides not to waste more time and gives Nagatoro her gift. To his surprise, she also has a gift for him, and they both thought of the same thing. A scarf. As the days pass, New Year's approaches and Nagatoro calls Meado to ask about his plans. Assuming he'll stay home, she mentions the area's most famous shrine but abruptly hangs up, leaving Naoto speechless. On New Year's Day, Naoto goes to the shrine but doesn't find Nagatoro. He wonders if he should have invited her. But to his surprise, Nagatoro appears dressed as a priestess. She works there temporarily and takes Naoto on a tour of the shrine. Later, they try fortune-telling with Naoto not getting the best results. In the love section, he's advised not to expect too much. The shrine gets crowded, so Naoto decides to leave to let Nagatoro work. However, he regrets it, returns, and awkwardly buys an amulet. Before leaving, he tells Nagatoro he'll be waiting. Later, when he's more composed, Naoto thinks his words and tone sounded like those of a Despite that, Nagatoro asks him to wait for her. When she arrives, he asks her why he wanted to see her. Naoto responds that he wanted to make a witch, not realizing they're at a marriage shrine. Nagatoro teases him, asking if his wish is for them to be a couple. Naoto denies it, explaining that even if he wanted that, he wouldn't ask the gods for it. He'd work hard for it. Nagatoro is surprised but mocks him to hide her feelings. After making their wishes, Naoto mentions wishing for good health, which Nagatoro finds dull. She claims to have wished to be his wife, leaving Naoto speechless once again, falling into Nagatoro's playful trap. At school, the protagonist is in the art room, and when Nagatoro arrives, she notices he's about to use contact lenses. She believes he wants to change his image, but Naoto explains that he's using them because glasses bother him. He jokingly suggests she puts them on for him since she has experience, and she reluctantly agrees. After struggling to put in the contact lenses, Nagatoro teases Naoto about his nervous movements, which he denies. However, she makes a joke that makes him nervous, inadvertently revealing the truth. A few days later, they go on a school trip to snowy mountains. Naoto is with his friends when they see Nagatoro and her group skiing impressively. Naoto decides to practice skiing, imagining that it might impress Nagatoro. She approaches him, surprising the boys since Naoto knows her. They head out to ski, but Nagatoro realizes Naoto doesn't know how to ski, so she decides to teach him. Despite her best efforts, he struggles to learn. In the evening, the group goes skiing again, and Nagatoro invites Naoto to join. However, he declines, citing leg pain. Nagatoro leaves, urging him to continue practicing. Later, his friends ask why he turned down Nagatoro as it's clear she wanted to be with him. Naoto explains that he feels he's holding her back and just wants her to have fun. Maki disagrees but lets him reflect on it. Naoto later goes out alone to practice, determined to impress Nagatoro. He comes across a child in danger and skillfully saves him. While continuing to practice, he is almost hit by two skiers, but Nagatoro arrives just in time to rescue him. She congratulates him for skiing well and encourages him to keep learning. That night, she gives him more skiing lessons and Naoto, distracted by her presence, finds it challenging to focus on skiing. The next day, he tries to showcase what he learned to his friends, but he fails, becoming the subject of laughter, including from Nagatoro's friends. 
When they return to school, Naoto gives a gift to the president for her university entrance and expresses his desire to attend an art university. The president is surprised and credits Magatoro for influencing his decision. At that moment, Naoto reflects on the time they spent together but remains uncertain about Nagatoro's future plans. After a few days, the protagonist is in the art room and realizes he doesn't know what to draw. After watching Nagatoro for a while, he asks her if she could model for him again since it's been a while since he drew people. Nagatoro wastes no time in teasing him, suggesting that she should After a while, she asks what pose she should strike, and he tells her to go for a natural pose. She starts showing him different martial arts poses, and they eventually find the right one. When the drawing is finished, Naoto asks what martial arts pose that was, but Nagatoro replies that it's her own pose. At that moment, her friends, including Maki, arrive. Maki asks Nagatoro if she wants to try it again, but Nagatoro grabs her things and leaves, avoiding the conversation. During judo class, Naoto is terrible as usual, thinking Nagatoro would be disappointed if she saw him. However, he notices her watching him from the window but disappears when she sees the judo tournament poster. In the afternoon, Maki and Yoshi return to the club to tell their friend to participate in the judo tournament. They find Naoto alone and he seizes the opportunity to ask if Nagatoro practices judo. She doesn't answer, only giving him a pamphlet for her gym. Over the weekend, the protagonist decides to visit the gym and is surprised to see Nagatoro boxing with Maki. Nagatoro gets distracted by him, allowing Maki to win. Nagatoro asks why he's there since he's not interested in sports. Nada requests judo lessons, expressing a desire to improve from the previous year. She agrees to be his coach, but with the condition that she won't go easy on him. When the girls leave for lunch, Naoto and Nagatoro stay behind to train. They decide to spar, and Naoto is surprised that, just like in their practice, he can't do anything against her. He jokingly blames it on her weight, which irritates Nagatoro. She starts acting more aggressively, explaining that it's not about weight. After their brief training, Naoto watches Maki and Nagatoro spar, impressed by his friend's fighting style. On their way home, Naoto gathers the courage to ask Nagatoro if she used to practice judo. She replies that she doesn't like talking about it and decides to leave, but he compliments her on the move she used against Maki. Nagatoro blushes and leaves the area. The day of the tournament arrives. Nagatoro wins her first round, but Maki can't overcome Orihana, who is the candidate for the national team. Meanwhile, the protagonist is motivated in the tournament as he decides to win for his friend who helped him train. However, when Nagatoro is talking with her friends, Orihan approaches them to tell Nagatoro that she hopes for a heated match and that she has no intention of losing. This makes Nagatoro feel bad and she goes outside to be alone. The protagonist arrives to find out what's wrong, and she reveals that she used to do judo since childhood, winning several tournaments. Although she used to easily beat the other girl, Orihana, over time, improved her techniques until she defeated Nagatoro. Since then, Nagatoro has felt disillusioned, thinking she would never win again. For that reason, she took a break from judo, deciding to take it easy now. The protagonist is upset, believing that the outcome of a match is never known beforehand and she shouldn't lose hope as she is very talented. Nagatoro challenges him, stating that if she wins, not only will she give her all in the fight, but she will also give him a kiss. It's Naoto's turn to fight and he is very nervous facing not only a trained opponent but also Nagatoro and her friends watching the match. When the fight starts despite Naoto resisting, he is forcefully thrown to the ground. But due to the opponent's lack of technique, they repeat the duel. Naoto is thrown to the ground again, but he remembers the lessons with Nagatoro and manages to reverse the hold with all his strength. However, the opponent is very strong and he thinks he won't resist. At that moment, he hears Nagatoro's shout cheering for him, giving him the strength to keep his opponent on the ground. Time runs out, and by the judge's decision, Naoto loses. Despite the defeat, it's more than enough for him as he managed to motivate his friend for her fight. Now it's Nagatoro's turn, and at the start of the match, they are evenly matched. Suddenly, Orihana manages to throw her to the ground, but fortunately she doesn't score a point. They repeat the match, and the audience supports Orihana, the national team candidate. However, Naoto doesn't let it stand, gaining courage and encouraging Nagatoro in front of the entire audience. This greatly motivates Nagatoro and she finds the strength to throw her opponent. Everything seemed to indicate that she had won, but due to a small mistake, the judges decided Orihana was the winner. Nagatoro is content as she gave her best, and now she seeks a rematch. She asks Naoto if he will reward her with a kiss if he wins the next match, making him nervous as he thinks she's joking. However, she assures him it's not a joke and runs away from the place. Upon returning to classes, the protagonist starts his third year, but he finds himself in the art room not knowing what to draw. Nagatoro arrives at that moment and he starts recalling the girl's words and the kiss she requested. Nagatoro notices that he's acting strange and hasn't drawn anything yet, so she becomes his model. 
Without wasting time, she puts on the and while he is drawing, he can't stop thinking about the bet. Nagatoro believes he's nervous because he's a After a short break, Nagatoro claims to have back pain and asks the young man to give her a massage. Although he initially refuses, he eventually agrees, falling into her trap. Nagatoro tells Mayato that she will join the judo club with the goal of defeating Orihana, so he can give her the promised reward. However, he gets very nervous because he never agreed to that bet. Nagatoro gets upset, thinking he doesn't want to kiss her. But their conversation is interrupted by a girl known to Mayato, who expresses interest in joining the art club. The three of them sit down and the protagonist introduces Nagatoro to the girl named Hana. Hana mentions that they were clubmates in the art club at another school, and Mayato taught her many things as she was a novice. Nagatoro starts feeling jealous. Later, Hana asks Naoto to introduce her friend, but he only provides her name. This upsets Nagatoro, and she starts hitting Naoto, frustrated that he has nothing more to say about her. Hana interrupts them, revealing she overheard their conversation and asks if they are a couple. Nagatoro denies it, but when Naoto denies it as well, she gets angry and hits him. Naoto explains that Nagatoro sometimes poses for him, but she is not part of the art club. She is in the Juno club and will likely focus on that from now on. When Hana asks if they will be alone in the club, Nagatoro tries to convince her not to join, saying she will end up like Naoto. Hana refuses, excited to learn new things. Maki arrives, looking for Nagatoro and noticing her despondent mood as she realizes there is a new girl in the club. She shouts that the protagonist has replaced her and both Naoto and Nagatoro deny it. Hana suggests posing without for Naoto, but he stops her, saying it's unnecessary and that Nagatoro asked her to put her back on. Naoto explains that Hana is the president's cousin. In the art club, Hana tells Naoto that she noticed he now uses more colorful colors in his paintings. She speculates that he found a goddess who changed his world, but he corrects her, calling Nagatoro more of a demon. He admits that although initially it was his idea for her to be his model, it has become enjoyable over time. Meanwhile, in the judo club, Orihana notices that Nagatoro seems distracted. Nagatoro tries to use the excuse of regaining her instincts, but Maki goes against her, revealing that the new student will soon steal her boyfriend. Oriana proposes that Nagatoro choose between love and judo, but she insists on choosing both. Meanwhile, Hana, after hearing Naoto's words, understands that the art club is their love. She advises him to ask Nagatoro on a date, as if there's love, he should go and capture it. Naoto is left unsure about how to respond. After Hana's words, the protagonist gets nervous. He tells her that people who aren't a couple don't go on dates, and besides, he doesn't understand why she would ask him since she'll probably make fun of him. However, the girl tells him that unfortunately, she can't advise him further because she hasn't experienced love yet. Night falls, and the president goes to find her cousin who tells her about the love situation. The president advises her to follow her heart. Later, Naoto goes to the judo club, and when he sees that they are still training, he stays to wait for Nagatoro. She runs out of the place, but upon seeing the young man, she stops and they go home together. On the way, she tells him that she feels a bit sad because she can't tease him like before. Then she asks if he misses her, making the young man nervous, and he doesn't confirm anything. However, after recalling the president's words, Naoto asks to meet on a day without classes. Nagatoro starts suggesting impossible places to reach, which discourages him. He asks her to forget it, and she tells him that he should choose the place. After several failed attempts, she hits him, saying he doesn't know any places. However, he remembers that she wanted to go see penguins, so he invites her to the aquarium. Despite his expectation of mockery, she ends up accepting with a smile on her face. Hidden, her friends can't believe they will have a date. The next day, Nagatoro is very happy, while Naoto appears somewhat distracted. Hana notices this, and he tells her that he will have a date with Nagatoro at the aquarium in a few days. She congratulates him for gathering the courage to ask. Later, Nagatoro looks pensive, and Maki brings her back to reality. Her friends ask if she wants to see Naoto since they will finish training soon, but she makes a suspicious face, saying that for the moment, she doesn't want to see him. However, her friends are concerned, recognizing that look and believing that the protagonist is in danger. They rush to warn him, but when they reach the club, they find Hana. She realizes they are the d her cousin mentioned. Maki and Yoshi ask Hana about Naoto, but upon learning that he wouldn't be back for the moment, the girls turn around, saying they must intervene since he's in danger. The new student misunderstands, thinking they will disrupt the date. At night, both Naoto and Nagatoro search for the perfect outfit for the date, feeling very anxious. The day of the date arrives, and the young man waits for Nagatoro. Upon her arrival, she starts teasing him while Maki and Yoshi observe to protect the young man's Meanwhile, Hana and her cousin aim to protect the young couple's love. After what happened, the young couple goes on their date. 
However, Nagatoro tells the young man not to get excited because she's only there to gain experience in dating, something she believes she'll never have. Nearby, Maki and Yoshi want to prevent the young man from losing his but they end up losing track of him on the way. At the aquarium, Nagatoro is happy, and they have fun together exploring the place. When she sees couples holding hands, she asks the young man if he should do something since they're on a date. He thinks he's hungry, but Nagatoro gets upset and tells him he's gradually losing points. Trying to guess what went wrong, he notices Maki and Yoshi observing them. Behind them are the president and her cousin, so they wonder what they're doing there. Naoto grabs Nagatoro and takes her away and Maki tries to follow, but Hana stops her, saying she will defend Naoto's love and not let them pass. The girls mock her, thinking she's an easy target, but the president appears behind her to help in the name of love. The girls get scared, decide to leave, but are still followed. After having ice cream, the group is at the main show, and Naoto realizes he lost sight of the girls. Surrounded by couples, he starts thinking that Nagatoro is too cute for him, and gets a bit depressed. Nagatoro notices his expression and teases him, thinking he's upset about the points she deducted. Naoto saves her from a splash, but she continues teasing him for trying to look cool. At the end of the date, Nagatoro tallies up their scores, deducting many points. Naoto thinks there's no hope, but she tries to reassure him with some positive points. Nonetheless, he ends up with a low score. In the distance, Maki and Yoshi finally find them and they plan to interrupt the date. The protagonist asks Nagatoro if the date served as practice, but she surprises him by confessing that for her, was a real date. Yoshi stops Maki from interrupting, and they decide to leave the couple alone. Hana arrives to catch them. At school, Nagatoro forgives her friends, and they all go to the art room to eat. They discover Hana feeding Naoto, which infuriates Nagatoro. Despite Naoto's attempts to stop Hana, she insists on making him lunch during the week to apologize. Nagatoro intervenes, saying she will do it, and mentions that the young man will prepare lunch for both of them, while she focuses on training. This leaves everyone speechless and annoyed. On their way home, Nagatoro asks if they will continue the date, and before saying goodbye, they share a warm hug.